Well, happy National Caviar Day. No better place to celebrate this national holiday, if you will, than one of my favorite restaurants, Emmeline. Look at the spread. Sam Governelli, thanks so much for joining us my on this pleasure, special holiday. Pleasure. Let's have a little cheers. Absolutely. What are we cheersing? What is this? Oh, this is Belvedere Single Estate Rye. It's what we pair, pair with our caviar dish. Wonderful. Yeah. All right, cheers. Mmm. Very smooth. Nice. Okay, let's talk about caviar because sure. I think a lot of times people think it's an expensive treat that maybe they don't want to indulge in. How do we indulge in this? Well, I think, you know, that's one of the reasons why we created a dish so that, that it could become an everyday indulgence. We wanted it to be approachable and accessible and affordable. Right. And I think there's options out there, especially with a lot of the, the production of American sturgeon um, and the farm-raised sturgeon. That allows us to have an, a, a varying types of, of caviar at an affordable affordable price. Okay, so I want to show everybody at home how you get caviar here at Emmeline, which is this dish right here. I've had it. It's absolutely delicious. We're going to taste that in just a second. It is served with your Belvedere vodka that we That's just correct. had a cheers with. But if we were going to serve this at home, maybe have a little dinner party or something today for National Caviar Day, how would we do it? How do we shop for caviar? Well, um, Whole Foods and Central Market both have a nice array of caviars. Um, anywhere from the, the uh, lesser quality that starts around 40 to 50 and goes up to 80 to 100. Um, and then uh, if you wanted actual beluga caviar from the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea where it comes from, um, you could find that for about $300 an ounce. Oh boy, um, that's then, expensive. <laughs> so beluga, cetera, and then savruga sort of in that order okay. as far as species of sturgeons. And okay. This is all from the white sturgeon. Okay, and then you also say the pearl. The bigger the pearl, or what is it? The smaller the, the pearl, the, the bigger, bigger the pearl, the firmer the pearl, and then and then it comes to taste. Creaminess, butteriness, lo, lo, low brine, but some brine, and then, uh, you know, just a slight hint of fishiness is, okay. is, what, is what you're looking for. Okay, and if somebody hasn't had caviar, I say if you like sushi, you're gonna like caviar. Is that yeah, right or wrong? I think you are, okay. absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so this is how we would serve it at home, traditionally, right? If we went and bought one of these, and what is all this here on the board? So this is what we would do at home. We have the Russian sort of typical uh, or classic blini. Um, there's a French blini and a, and a Russian blini. The, the Russian is a little thinner and a little more delicate, and the French is a little thicker. Um, and that's basically... Correct. A little pancake. Correct. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's basically your carb that's going on there, right? right, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you have your traditional accoutrements. You have your um, your capers, your egg whites, your red onions, uh, chives, sour cream, and then of course egg yolks. Okay. And then this is our sous cream, so it's like an onion cream. Ooh. It's a very nice touch. It just come, you know, we get white onions. Uh, some chives, we blend it up, and uh, and with the, with the sour cream, it's it's nice. And you top it with the dollop of caviar, and a little goes a long way, right? A little goes a long way. So we serve about a quarter ounce on our dish here, um, and and the flavor is intense and beautiful, and it's it's a nice experience. And over here is basically the caviar that you guys sell here and have at Emmeline, right? Correct. This is the Ocetra Supreme, uh, again American farm raised. Um, which makes it affordable to all of us and to you. And then we serve the salmon roe uh, on our oysters and pearls, which is a popular dish here too. Absolutely, it's yeah. so beautiful. Okay, so can we indulge here? I mean, it is National Caviar yeah. Day. Can we get in there? Is there a way to eat it? We have to have a little so bit of- So this is our take on the blini, this little, this little uh, brioche crisp, and you just kind of crack that through into the cream. Okay. And there you go. Mm. Spoon's important. So we use these pearlized spoons uh, so as to not taint the, the flavor of the caviar with metal or okay. you, know, you want to use a, a cool spoon. I mean, this is delicious. Yeah. No better day in my book oh. than National Caviar Day. And if you don't want to do this at home, um, let the professionals do it for you here at Emmeline. Sam, thanks so much. Oh, I my appreciate pleasure. it. My pleasure. Happy National Caviar Happy Day. National Caviar Day to you. Cheers. And magically, the owner of Emmeline, Sam Gavernelli, is joining us now. Cheers, Cheers. to this Cheers. national Cheers. holiday. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. It's so fun to have you in our studio because genuinely, we are such big fans of the restaurant. And hearing the story about how you started the restaurant and how you recreate the menu is absolutely fascinating. People have no idea how much work it is to do what you do. It is quite a bit, but it's, it's very rewarding. And typically, you serve or we hear that caviar is served with champagne. True, and, and we're trying to dispel a couple things today. 
Okay, so. well, let's get started, because yeah. we did have a toast with champagne, but we're, we're going to move on. It's the perfect primer for, <laughs> your, for your palate. So you can have both. That's okay. Uh, absolutely, yeah. That's, this is the greatest way to start, and I think while you're doing caviar, drinking, or eating caviar, then you go into the vodka, and it really is the perfect pairing. Okay. And that, of course, at the end of the table here, that's how it's served at the restaurant. Correct. In the piece we just saw, uh, we saw all the components that go into this. Correct. And if someone wants to do this at home, I mean, it really does not need to be this bougie, once every 10 years kind of thing. Yeah, you mentioned that, and that's that's one of the things that, that Emmeline was created for and designed for. It's it's to sort of dispel that that fancy fuss and pretense and, and to make people comfortable about enjoying life's delicacies. Yeah. So. I'm going to scoot over because I want Derek to try this. I know that you've had it before, Derek, but um, Sam, you say the, the spoon isn't really important. You don't want to have the metal because that Correct. creates a different taste. Correct. You want, the, you want the pearlized spoon, absolutely. Okay. And then this dish so was created and inspired by all the accoutrements. I'm sort of a perfect bite kind of guy, mm -hmm. so all the accoutrements are sort of in this dish and, and blended. The Sabise cream takes a lot of the components from the traditional caviar setup and the brioche crisp acts as the blini. So mm. you get that nice textural component uh, with the richness and butteriness of the soubise and the, and the caviar, of course, comes through pretty pretty brightly. And a lot of folks have never even tried caviar. Even some of our staff members yesterday were saying that they hadn't tried it. But if you haven't tried it and you're curious, Give it a go. Give yeah. it, it a go. go. And it's here's the uh, the chilled Belvedere vodka that you have to put perfect, with that. Perfect mm. opportunity. This will be featured on our uh, Houston Restaurant Week menu uh, Which starting is, in August. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So check Cheers. out the menu. For more information on Emmeline, visit our site, HoustonLife.tv. And mm. happy National happy Caviar National Day. Caviar Cheers. Day Thank you so much for stopping in. by, Sam.